Hi there, today we'll have a quick look at how we can send SMS messages from the CRM and we'll give you some examples of <clears throat> where you might possibly wish to use this. On the right here I've got integration with my mobile phone so any SMS is sent to the mobile phone will be displayed on my computer here. So we're going to help uh, use this so you can see the messages arriving. So <clears throat> what we'll first do is in my lead section in the CRM we've actually designed an area for sending SMS messages to the customer. So as soon as we enter the mobile number up here, it's going to uh, strip out all the various pluses, minuses, spaces, and all of those different characters, and just give me a phone number string, so it makes it easier to send the message. I can then have a quick box here where I can type something like, thanks for calling, let us uh, meet up tonight at 7.30 p.m. Okay, and then all I have to do is come over here once I'm happy and select send text. And then if I wait a moment, what we should see, bang, there we go. Immediately that message popping up highlight and that message arriving in my inbox. Okay, thanks for calling, please meet up tonight at 7.30. So that was uh, straightforward and easy. The next one we can have a look at is we've actually created a complete SMS module within Zoho CRM. And to give you an example of what we can do is we'll create a new SMS message here. And this would be a module that anyone can come into to send messages to, their, to your customers or to leads. And this can be used for lots of different reasons. For example, we're going to use some basic templates to drive the SMS. So this could be to send a confirmation of appointment. This could be to um, thank someone or, or say that we've now received payment for your invoice. Thank you very much. Or a reminder that tomorrow there will be a delivery sent to your office. Or possibly your subscription or your maintenance contract will expire tomorrow. Okay, or please pay your bill if you wish to avoid your system being suspended, something like this. So we can have some template messages and we can also have some custom messages. So this would be a custom message here. So you can just type whatever you want. Or what we've also built in is a combination. So let me show you how a combination may work. So I'm going to say appointment uh, confirmation is the name of my SMS message and I'm going to send this to Florence so let's look up Florence Chow and add her okay and you can see once I selected Florence it immediately brought across the SMS number or mobile number from Florence and then it addressed the salutation automatically and what I'm going to do now is I can say, this is to confirm our appointment on 7th November, 3 p.m. Right. So this is a combination of three fields and um, <coughs> allowing me some flexibility to give some reference to time or an invoice number, a maintenance contract number or something like that. Then I can press save. You'll also see what we've done is actually every SMS has got a reference. So if the customer was to call us and they say, well, what were you talking about? They could probably give us this reference code and we can look up and maybe understand more about it. And of course, you can make notes and things about this message if required. Now to send it, all we have to do is select send. And then once again, we just have to wait a moment and that message should arrive. Okay, there it goes from our SMS provider, read the message. Hi Florence, this is to confirm our appointment on 7th of November, 3 p.m. and the reference is 108, which is the same as the reference here, 108, okay? With Zoho, we can also obviously automate this. So this means that we can tr check uh, dates that invoices were due and if they haven't been paid we can send SMS messages automatically or it can be manually driven the way I'm doing it now through an SMS module or having screens um, or areas within a screen like this particular lead we were able to allow the staff just to send messages directly from here. One of the advantages of creating a module 
as you can see we've sent several messages to Florence so if I was to go now across to Florence's record and just scroll down you will see that not only do we have a history of the emails that we've sent we'll also have a complete history of the SMS's that have been sent to Florence from our system. So that's a quick introduction to how we can work with SMS's and trust that was useful and if you've got more questions uh, please uh, contact us at Cloud Solutions.